Okay, so let's talk about the internal surface of the cranial base. It's composed of three fossae, uh, the anterior and uh, the middle and the posterior. So let's start with the anterior. Here, you know that here is the uh, frontal bone. So here is the frontal crest of the frontal bone. And here you can see foramen cecum, which was very important during fetal period. And here you, you see the uh, crystal gilly of the ethmoid bone. On each side you have the uh, cribriform plate foramina for uh, olfactory nerves, cranial nerve number one. And uh, you have here the butterfly shaped uh, middle uh, cranial fossa. Let's start with the optic canal. In the optic canal, you, uh, you have the cr uh, cranial nerve number two, the optic nerve, and also the ophthalmic artery. And then you have the uh, cella torsica. This is this structure, it's so uh, important. Here you have uh, three parts of it. It's uh, this part is the hypophysial fossa for the pituitary gland or hypophysis. And here you have the dorsum, uh, dorsum cella, and here trabeculum cella. And here are uh, anti uh, here are the anterior clinoid processes of uh, cella dorsica, and here are the posterior clinoid processes, uh, which are based on the dorsum cella. You know, dorsum posterior. That's easy. And uh, now we move on to the fossae. Uh, we talked about the uh, foramen ovale. It is uh, uh, for the mandibular uh, for the mandibular uh, branch of the trigeminal nerve, or for the mandibular ner nerve uh, five three. And here, uh, here you can see the. Foramen rotundum, it is continuous or connected uh, to the uh, orbital cavity, I think, to the to the inferior uh, orbital fissure. It, it, it carries the maxillary nerve. And here you can see the superior orbital fissure. The superior orbital fissure, you can see it better here. This fissure. Which carries four uh, branches or like four cranial nerves. It carries the third cranial nerve, the oculomotor, and the fourth, the trochlea, for the uh, movement of trochlea. And uh, from the fifth, from the trigeminal, it carries branches of the ophthalmic, uh, the first branch of trigeminal. And these branches are the frontal, uh, the nasal ciliary, and the uh, lacrimal. And it also carries the abdosent nerve, which is the sixth cranial nerve. Uh, so okay, so this is the, as I said, the uh, internal occipital crest. It divides uh, it divides the posterior fossa to a right and left uh, cerebral fossae. And it ends with the internal occipital protuberance, which is in place of the confluence of sinuses. And we talked before about the jugular. Here are the jugular foramina for jugular vein and for uh, three cranial nerves, uh, the vagus and uh, the glossopharyngeal and uh, the accessory. And here you have the foramen magnum. Uh, you know that uh, from the other side you can see the uh, condylar canal, but from here, uh, from this side, there are some uh, canals, uh, two canals. Uh, one on each side, and this is the hypoglossal canal for hypoglossal nerve, a cranial nerve number 12. And uh, we didn't talk about the facial nerve or the vestibular cochlear, ner cochlear nerve, but they pass uh, through this internal acoustic meatus. So, facial nerve, cranial nerve number 7, and vestibular cochlear nerve, cranial nerve number 8 but through this uh, internal acoustic meatus and also accompanied with the labyrinthine artery. So I think this is all 